Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Mike Rasheed, and today, arm day, baby. That's right. Now, I haven't gotten a proper arm day in almost a year. Not quite a year, but about six months since my injury, my bicep injury. I had surgery on my, my left bicep, and it just hasn't, haven't been the same yet. It looks normal-ish, you know, there's a little scar tissue under here, but you know, the, the left bicep, I don't know if it's weak or if the tendons are just weak, just not healed properly yet, but uh, my doctor informed me that I should be doing hammer curls and coming down with a negative. So I've been doing that with dumbbells, but I could never seem to get past that point of that, that, that super early fatigue in my um, left bicep. So, you know, I kind of been just forgetting about it. So I haven't been doing it at that much. Now, Rob is all about training arms. So we back, we back at it and I, I needed this. Um, we did buy this one particular machine. It's a pin loaded preacher curl. Always been the best thing for me for biceps because I'm able to lean on it in a certain way to position myself to not hurt my biceps. So I'm so glad that we got it. I'm gonna be using it probably every other day. A biceps might get super big like CT, you never know, but I do have that and I will take full advantage of it because I can use it and put decent weight and not hurt myself. All right, so here's the workout. Okay, so we warmed up with um, cable tricep pull downs and also cable curls, all right? Uh, round robin style, really no breaks. The only break is you waiting on your, your turn to get in, get back on the uh, machine. And that's how we did it. We started out with 15 reps and then I think we went up to 20 and just kept going, kept going. I don't count sets often, especially with stuff like that because it's too, it's, it's twofold. One is to um, warm up the muscles and also is to start getting a pump. And you can't tell yourself, oh, I'm gonna do this amount of sets to get a pump or reps. You just gotta go until you get that feeling, that burn. Y'all know what I'm talking about. All right, so from there, we moved on to the next station. All right, so next is skull crushers, partner skull crushers with four people. You could do this with two people or you could three or four. There's so many different ways that you could skin a cat or get swole. And that's what we did here. So you used to seeing me and Rob just going back and forth with the skull crushers, head to head. Um, and we'll go like battle style, you know, we'll make it kind of heavy and then just ma max reps each time until somebody quits. So that's a dope challenge to do with you and one more person. So with us having four people, we did a round robin style. So I go 15, Rob goes 15, I get up, Hurt comes down 15, Rob gets up, Tank, 15, and then we went up to 20, 20, 25, and then 30, but I think we went up to 40. Whoever goes first sets the pace, sets the tone. So if we can say 30 or we want, but if I do 40, everybody gotta do 40. And that's what we did. So we just beast it out. So check it out. You notice we're going bicep, uh, tricep, bicep, tricep, bicep, alternating it so we can focus on each muscle. So now we're going back to biceps with a uh, preacher curl, pin loaded preacher curl. I love this station, I love this machine because I'm able to maneuver my body in a way to not hurt my bicep, especially my, my left one, which you know, I'm, it's still recovering. So uh, pretty easy, started out with 10. I just wanted to see how I felt, make sure I wasn't gonna hurt myself. I seen I was Gucci. Moved it up to 15 reps, increased the weight, and then um, I got fatigued really fast, which always happens, which I'm not a fan of, but it is what it is. Went back down to 12 reps and uh, did that again. So my right hand, it just felt like, I think I did up to like 95 or 100 pounds on each arm, but I wanted to do like 200 because I could feel how powerful this, this side is. And it's not over here. It's a very humbling feeling. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. So take care of your bodies, man, listen. Um, but I had the injury and I'm back at it. So just, if you do have an injury, which is bound to happen, it's all good. You know, don't let it discourage you. You know what I'm saying? Just reset, get it fixed, reset, recover, and get back after it, you know? So that's what I'm doing. That's what we did, all right? Okay, so now we're, we're gonna close it out with some more triceps. We're gonna go to dumbbell uh, tricep 
um, kick outs or skull crushers. So this one, I love doing this. Um, I like to do a single arm, but with so many people, to save time, we did a double arm. Either way it works. I like single because I can really concentrate on each side. I'm just a huge fan of isolateral movements. This is still isolateral because we're doing dumbbells, so, but you get to focus and concentrate on each side, doing it perfectly when you're doing it just one at a time. But this still gets the job done. First set was pretty easy then. We just increased the weight, you know, and banged it out. None like training, training with the squad. If you got a crew, if you got a squad, y'all should train together, you know. You, you train, build, and grow together, man. That's how you create those deep, meaningful bonds. Because the gym is, you know, it's a parallel to life. I tell y'all this all the time. You know, something that you do, if you go to the gym every day, that's not like your separate gym life. That's part of your life, you know. The, the things that you do on a consistent basis and how you do them really shows who you are. So if you go hard every day doing something productive, that is, that's who you are, you know. So being in the gym and being consistent and going hard is an easy way to build character and to build consistency and to build discipline. And the beauty in that, there's a side effect. The side effect is that you get swole, you look great, and you become very healthy and get in good shape, you know. Develop these habits while you're young, I'm telling you. Don't sit around and be like, you know, I'm gonna start next week, I'm gonna start next month. Don't do that, start right now, all right? Get addicted, get hooked to it, you know? So that's what I, that's, I've been doing this since I was a kid, you know? You seen Big Rob son in here, uh, Zylan? That's my, my, my nephew, that's my guy. He's in here at a young age. My son was in the gym at a young age. Get your kids in the gym. If you got kids, even if they too young to really lift or, or they not focused enough to lift, still have them in this environment so they can get used to it. And then when they're ready, you don't force it on them, but when they're ready, then they start getting after it. You know, that's what you want, you know? The world need more people that work out, that train, that keep their they mind and their body right. We all need that, all right? The world will be a way more peaceful and pleasant place. All right, anyway, I love y'all, much love. Subscribe, share, comment. Let me know what y'all wanna chop, what y'all wanna see next. And I'll holler at y'all later, all right? Peace. Ooh, ooh, animal, zoo. They shit that never, never, ever, ever let me loose. Do it, do it, boy do I do it. She shit that never, never, ever, ever let me screw it. She in love now, but I don't love her. Said she in love now, but I don't love her. Cause back when I ain't had shit, no, she ain't love this. Even started dyking the all of a sudden love dick. Coincidence, maybe, maybe, maybe hell now. Saw me popping at the club and even caught me at the mall. It's funny how the ones who shit it on you at the start be the ones that by the end ain't worth it or wash your drawers. Ugh, that sounds so nasty. I swear that's how they treated me when they used to pass me, but if you really love me, show me that you love me. Man.